making money on forest trade is real 100 percent real it depends on how far you can go but because of popular requests and demand i've seen that this season many people are losing a lot of money on forest trade so i've decided to drop a powerful strategy so i've decided to drop a powerful strategy that will be of help to everybody that will and are interested in making money and this strategy you can use it to make to make your income huge to make you profitable and also help your days and in your every other thing and this strategy i'm giving out is my personal strategy i use it to give us signals please for question's sake this strategy i'm using only but three indicators and these three indicators you will not miss one of them you not miss one of them. We have this MACD. We have MACD here. We have MACD here. And we have Ichimoku here. And we have Commodity Channel Index. These three channels is what I'm using. These three indicators is what I'm using. And I want everybody that will watch this video to call me one day and say thank you for this strategy. That this strategy will not work for you is maybe as a result of your impatient or you want to force the market to dance on your tune. Now let's get down to business. This strategy is perfectly okay and is working perfectly on Boom 300 and boom and crash 300 it also worked for 500 1000 both boom and crash on it but i am telling you what i have tried and i've witnessed now the normal time frame i am using to do this business is i am personally using crash 300 and boom 300 my time frame i am using is one minute and five minutes that is my entry time frame i don't enter time frame i don't enter market with confirmations of one hour four hours or day trend but you know as a trader that want to be profitable you must touch those areas of forest trade like one hour day trend that for you to be sure that this market is completely uptrend or downtrend i remember opposite of uptrend in crash is downtrend on boom which means if your boom is on downtrend which means on crash you may see it as because opposite of it why this one why boom is going down that down is going is uptrend on boom but when it reverses it becomes a downtrend on boom but the going up the downtrend on boom is the uptrend on crash why the downtrend on crash is the uptrend in boom taking now let's go down to the business of these things i'm i must be dropping the indicators for you to know it but before the indicators watch a lot of people think that forest trade is easy forest trading is not easy but with this indicator it can be easier for you and many people want simple things things that will not disturb them and that is why they are they are losing their money just in a simple way you want to enter market and beat the market just as easy as that when you see indicators like this or some indicators that will take you some time to learn you feel like it's a kind of disturbance or you don't know what this guy is even bringing out listen to me now do you see the blue watch watch this thing here watch this particular watch it carefully watch it carefully i want you to learn something I want you to learn something. We have 
Ichimoku Cloud. Now, watch this thing carefully. Watch this thing. Let me just use one, one minute time frame. We have two clouds here. Watch this one. Watch this one. Here. See? Look at how. And it came to a point and start forming something like this. Watch it carefully because you will see it in your forest trading and in your daily trading. This thing can also work on your volatility. It can also work in your volatility. 75. Now watch. Now getting to a point, the thing changed from here. And start going up. If you are using desktop or laptop, you will see this thing working perfectly. Look at it. Okay. Now, how do you know this thing? How do you detect and know that the market is going to be on your favor? For those who want to take trade, you have four things to confirm before you enter trade. Four things. Four things. Number one, price action. This indicator work with price action. Watch this market now. Watch this market. These are resistance level. They are resistance level. In your one minute time frame, not four hours or one hour time frame. Each of these resistance level gives you an opportunity to catch a spike. Do you hear what I said now? This resistance level gives you an opportunity to catch a spike on one minute time frame and five minutes time frame. Do you see it has spiked now? Let me show you. Do you see it has spiked? Now, what is the confirmation that this thing must spike? Number one, watch, do a back test. Do a back test, take your horizontal, drop, take your horizontal, drop it. These things are resistance level. Can you see it? It the first one tried. The first one tried and it pulled back. It came back again and it pulled back. It came back again and it pulled back down to this place. And they came back to this line. And it came back to this line. It came back to this place and tried to cross the same line. And it pulled back. And this one, this spike now, tried to come to that level. And unfortunately, there was a spike. It couldn't cross. This number one. So number one entry confirmation is price action, resistance level. Now, it, you may have a spike like this. And you don't want to close, watch your, watch your support levels and see if the previous support level is strong. If it is not strong, it has to pull back. Now, but these things are number one, please. Number one, for you not to say that the strategy I'm giving is not working, please. This one is working. To all my students anywhere in the world, I'm giving this thing for your sake because of your price. I'm giving this thing out for everybody to enjoy and make money, cool money. Don't, you see, it's still pulling back. Can you see? It's still pulling back. 
still going backward and look at my thread here and look at my thread here do you see it look at my thread and the watch number two number two the ichimoku on the main chart <clears throat> has three lines one has three lines red green or blue and the yellow check those three lines red blue or you can call it green and the yellow now let's do let's reduce the screen to the minimum look at it have you seen it now what do you see i'm just talking about the main chart now i have not even entered on macd and the cci now zoom it like this zoom it like this carefully look at those lines carefully look at those lines have you ever seen any of the 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 candles going far from those going far from those things have you seen it it's not far immediately they get close to these things they always guide the candles inside look at what i'm talking about they always guide the candle inside and secondly when they cross those things they don't move up they normally go down but that's that one don't be deceived with it it's not a confirmation now the confirmation is for you to be doing skyping you have another confirmation check this ichimoku cloud check the blue check the ash there is a reversal watch here now let me look for a a, a bigger this thing good now watch this place immediately the thing positioned itself for a skyping the thing will go at the back the red and the white the the ash will stay together i repeat they will go at the back while the yellow will be in front now immediately you see something like this the blue one will start closing watch it here the blue one will start closing and forming something like a pistol like a needle something like this what this thing simply means that skyping is about to take over what this thing simply means is that sellers have come to take over now watch again but what happened when you have blue now watch it have you seen look at it here thank you thank you there a spike started here a spike started here and blue continue like this why the spike was going on the blue was increasing all of a sudden the blue dropped here and started curving so immediately the blue started curving the mission of bias ended was interrupted here and if you watch here there is a price that said you can't go below here they have to pull back with this agreement here and they pull back and as they pull back but the mission of the blue the bullish candle ended here watch this spike here this spike came up and the market started like this and the mission ended here sellers took over every color like this every of this ash color is showing a position for sellers to take over on boom let's check on crash i think it can be more clearer and more easier okay let's check on crash let's check let's check on crash let me take crash 500 now look at this thing have you seen it on crash 500 the blues each blue like this represents bullish each blue represents bullish 
then on each blue have you seen it have you seen what i'm telling you as the direction changes here the blue took over and it it will not take you on away if you know the rules watch as this thing was going on as this thing was going on you cannot be trading and be catching and be holding like this at least 10 15 candles is okay for you as this thing is going on it will start forming a head why it is forming a head nobody will tell you to leave the market because i'm going to give you another confirmatory point that will help you to know that you are about to catch a spike but here now is i'm teaching you based on how you can enter skyping freely and also cast spike at the same time now watch again watch again on five minutes time frame on five on five minutes time frame <clears throat> this is 15 minutes time frame let me go back to that same one minute now listen again have you seen what i tell you what i was telling you the ash on crash represents bearish so a spike came up here a spike came up a spike came up and took the market down to this place and took the market down to this place check the this blue took over from here and drop you here but i'm going to give you what you need to know now to help you assist remember the first one is price action number two is this movement on the screen the movement on the screen the bullish and the reddish or this thing the ichimoku cloud the ichimoku cloud gives you what is ahead have you seen it now this thing now is pointing upward here now you can see this place now is pointing upward and look at it but it is not yet confirmed but it has it is closing now have you seen it look at this place there was a suppression telling the bullish telling the sellers give up and have you seen it so when do you enter this place immediately this red shows up and carry this blue line upward you know that it has been confirmed but at this point this red this red this one now the work of this yellow line is to look for support and resistance that is the work of this line the yellow line always look for support and resistance so this yellow line can dictate a resistance level somewhere and this thing will drop but if it did not detect anything, if it did not detect anything, the this blue will continue and take you to as far as it can carry, depending on the resistance level on the previous ones. Hey, I wish, I wish I can make these videos very, very simple. Now, you need to consider uptrend and downtrend good number two number one i said today for you to confirm whether the market is ranging check price action trace back trace back trace back do a back text to know the condition of the previous market what happened at the past number two as this thing is like this now watch from here now this market has changed to sell position for this thing to happen again this market need to pull back and it has started forming watch this place now it has started ranging it has it has started giving head can you see it has started forming a head this head is something that they tried here and they pushed it down so they are forming a head again so if the succeed to form a head it will bring something like a sharp object like this indicating that sellers are giving up buyers are coming to take over
So you don't just enter trade anyhow. With this YouTube, I'm saying now it can be easy for you to monitor it before you enter trade. Now, there is another happy moment for you to enter trade. Watch what we have at the middle is MACD. Moving average, this is MACD. And this MACD has its own way of giving confirmations. But MACD is not 100% accurate, but those are no me know that I don't joke with MACD or relative strength index. Now, how do you use this thing? How does this thing assist you in this market? Number one, check the movement. I explained this thing on my last video. Check the movement. Ah, this video is still long. Ago. Let me just rush it. Check the movement. Check here. This market has changed direction, but the buying position started the last highs here. Check. Some people are making this mistake, except the market is on total downtrend. Anytime a spike continued and get to this level know it that it once it has formed like this the longest one and started closing like this it has started changing direction what to make this thing to pull down again is if the market is on the opposite direction like if the market now is on down, down trade which means as it get to this place and that spike will happen you get to another one that spike will happen making this thing to be only on down down trade as you can see it somewhere let me get something you can you can i can hey, see something that happened here now watch on this macd watch here something happened here the market changed direction and get to this point and climb look at it and get down and climb again and get down look at this look at the positions look at it this thing is the drama but all these things happened on down trend because from here the market changed direction have you seen it so when the direction finally come to an end when the when the changing of direction finally come to an end market change direction from here and took over and it changed here have you seen it and watch here now so I'm going to be explaining this one and this one together. Get it now, get it now, get it now, get it now, please. Now, another confirmation is go to your one minute time frame. When you go to one minute time frame, like here now, like here, if you go to one minute time frame, you know candlestick patterns. You count your candles. Let's assume if you are seeing something like this here now and you have and you have something like this here from here now, this market moves up from here to this place and you are in five minutes time frame. What do you do? This time I'm teaching you is very important. What do you do? You check your one minute time frame. Okay, let me just play something to, to show you. Let me just drop something here. As this market reaches here, look at. Okay, let me let me take from a clearer, a, a good position. Or let me see if I can use one thousand. Good, good, good. Now, if you want to like this thing now, a spike should be coming from here because of price action now. Now, how do you confirm this thing now? When are you to enter trade here now? Watch. Based on price action rules here now, and as you can see, the blue this thing now, the blue this thing has started closing. And watch this place. It has ranged and it should start dropping like this. Okay? Now, what do you do? You take your horizontal, you take your horizontal on your five minutes time frame you drop it below this thing for you to be sure then you go to that place and count and count one two three four which means this one is the fifth one 
what do you do? You enter thread. You enter thread. So if you confirm like this with the condition of the last resistance level, which means the only challenge this market is having here now is this market. So which means if this thing can pull through here, it will not be long the market will draw because it has stayed for a long time. So what do you do? You drop this thing. So in your five minutes time frame, you have one candle and that candle started here. And this is where it is closing. One candle is closing here. So at the closing of this one candle can be favorable based on the previous this thing and this thing will drop. And how again, check here, it has started making curve. How again, check this place. This place has crossed 100 level. So at this point, at this point, something can happen. Now, in, in summary, in summary, you have here, in summary, you have here, you have here, and you have here. You have here, you have here, and you have here. So in your one minute time frame, anytime you see a spike, in your one minute time frame, anytime you see a spike drop, how will you know that more spike is coming? Have you seen how this thing is making a curve? Watch here. Have you seen? So Anytime this thing is like this, I mean, it's like this, forming a circle like this, you go to your five minutes time frame. Go to your five minutes time frame. Check. So, like this, apart from that 1000 crash, 1000 always has strength and momentum before the spike drop. But if it is on crash 500 and more, more of crash 300, so this strategy. If you want to be milking money every single day, please don't waste your time on crash 500. Go to crash 1000. Have you seen that? And I showed you go to crash 300. Have you seen what happened here now? Just imagine that you entered your trade. Like, <laughs> like, do you know how much this market I entered here? Do you know how much I have by now? So I'm not teaching you what I don't practice. Now watch here. Watch here. It touched and it has reached to this place. So how do you know that more spike will occur after dropping a spike? Number one, check the support and resistance level. The resistance level here is much, which means it will be hard for this market to fight all of them and continue. Number one. Number two, what was the position of the last resistance level? The top, the high lows here is here, which means that this one is a foundation. Another one need to come back again to form. And this is what is happening. Have you seen the thing is still spiking? So I'm not teaching what I don't know. Look at, I have, I have a market I placed here. Look at it. I have a market I placed here. Can you see it? Because I follow the rules. So the thing spiked from here to this place on five minutes time frame. Why on one hour time frame? On one hour time frame, look at it. One hour is consolidating. And why the and the why the thing is consolidating, you are taking advantage of the market. So I entered the trade here because I took advantage of the resistance level, which is the price action. And look at the candle that is closing. So why do people make mistake? If this candle closes now and open another candle that may continue on that trend or decide to come up. So immediately you see that this you may say eh, it's on that trend, then you enter from here. It will take you from here before you to pull back again. By so doing, you are you are crying. So two possible entry points is once in your five minutes time frame, you have your CCI touched above 100 minus 100 on boom 500 it's not 
entry point for spike instead as it reverses like this it's an opportunity for you to cut and uh, to, do, to do skyping then while on your one minute time frame while on your one minute time frame you'll be very very careful because that is why i always advise people to always focus on catching spike because i don't know how you will have survived this thing that you entered that 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 market change direction from here and you entered here maybe thinking to catch to get like one two three four five six seven and the spike caught you and ended up what you suffered to build that's why i always encourage people all my students i always encourage them to focus so much on how to cast spike because spike will always feed you but trading against spike will 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 will, will, will always find a way of bringing tears in your eyes so watch this video carefully and please do well to subscribe many people don't subscribe on my channel i don't know why i see 40 something thousand that watched my video i see 40 something thousand 50 something thousand that watched the video yet i see lesser subscribers i don't know i don't know what i did that i don't know so and to my students all over the world I want to encourage you take this strategy watch it carefully as you can see here now this blue changed because it is on i mean on boom oh, please remember on boom the market is still spiking the market is still spiking. you know how much that is involved so don't go and waste your time on one hour time frame on just take one hour to know that this market is on downtrend then come back and take advantage if the market reverses on one minute and five minutes take the advantage of that reversal if it closes, close the market. Then if, if the market continues, take that advantage. But don't joke with spike. If you are doing skyping, be careful. But if you are if you are doing um if you are if you want to cast spike, please do well to know the right time to enter. Just can you imagine how many minutes, how many hours ago the market, the the spike is, is still dropping? So do you see? Do you see? Except you discover such an opportunity here. This is when you know that you can enjoy catching and trading on against spike from here to this place. At this point, it just be dropping small, 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 small. But watch here, it changed complete direction here. And this one touched the 100 level and it took you to this place. And this is what happened. It dropped and it came back to this place until market changes direction and start forming something like this watch and start forming something like this like like you are seeing here now that after this market spiked finished now if this market moved up like this if you see the kind of skyping that will happen because after spiking the spiking is already finished because it has touched this line it has formed a king or let's say a queen it has formed a pillar here now if it will spike it will just be small to get it here to get to this point here here so if no other spike it will not start going up like this like this then from there it will now cross over like this it will now cross over like this it will not change over like this like this like this it will not change over like this and start going up it will continue to go up oh. so people make mistake once they see a little spike here they enter trade hoping that it will pull back why will it pull back is there any resistance level after that one or just this one no you must be careful to know it and as you do that you will make money i want somebody to call me and thank me for making money with this strategy if you have question please drop your question on your on the comment section and please i don't answer calls you can drop your message on whatsapp i will respond to you because sometimes when you call me i am trading and if i'm trading to answer your call will distract me so drop your message on whatsapp chat me up if i have the chance i will reply if i don't have the chance i must reply it's a must i must reply 
though I have up to 92 messages now, but I will get back to them and reply. So please do well to concentrate and enjoy this video. I'm sorry that the video is long, but I, I think if you spend time to watch this video and you are making profit, I think it's better for you. Okay. Now check the video after this one. Let me just do the let me just drop the indicate the indicators. I don't know if I should, I should drop it here. Okay. Let me drop the indicators here. Okay. Now three indicators I'm using Ichimoku. Some people will ask you to make this one background color. It's true, it's nice. But sir, not this time. It serves as a guide. Now, this is that red signal taken soon. This one is that one you are seeing that always gives you what will happen at the next move. And this one, as you know, is the up, up Kumo. Those up Kumo is that one that shows you the signal, the movement of the market from, if you're using crash, from sell. And this one gives you the signal from buy. You know it now. So if you are buying, then up down Kumo will take over, show you the signal. Then this one, the yellow one will always look for support and resistance. That is why anywhere you see a spike, you will see the market, you see this yellow forming a close. And remember 10 to 2. Okay, 10 to 2. 10 to 2. 10 to 2. Okay. 10 to 2. All right. Now, the indicator window, that Ichimoku is on Windows, on the main chart. Then MACD, this one is the same MACD that we are using. Okay. Okay. Remember that some people don't know that the MACD we are using Anytime you see fast EMA, what this thing simply means is that exponential moving average, slow exponential moving average, MACD SMA, simple moving average. So MACD is loaded with a lot of things. So you don't joke with MACD. So the, 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 the reason why some changes you see on moving average on MACD is because of this one is exponential and this one is simple. So, and this one is slow. So when you don't understand it very well, it's, it's something nice. So follow it carefully. Okay. The last one, CCI, just put it this way. Commodity channel index. This one gives you the signal that the market is high and need to drop. It doesn't matter how long it takes, but it must drop because it is on high trend now. It must drop. You need to go down. So it, 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 it shows you the strength of the market, telling you the market is dropping. Okay. Look at what I have said so far on a summary because the video is already long. Check. Ever since the spike took place, it has been blue, blue, blue. And check that ash. Look at it. It has been blue, blue on the right side. Why the why the skyping the skyping is watch it as it changes it covers it and stays under why this one is up above why this one is under can you see just like right and left up and down so the red the blue one takes up from under as this thing is changing now. This thing will not change, and as you can see, it started changing, making this thing to be up while this one will be under. So don't ignore those things. Don't ignore those things. It's possible that spike can happen here now, but it's not a it's not a kind of spike you enjoy now. So it's possible. So once this thing is changing now, like if I want to do scalping, but I don't enjoy doing scalping, from here now, I will enter spike. I will enter 
this thing though it will drop small small but it cannot drop to an extent that it will it you will lose your money no from here now once you see this position here please watch again here this thing touching here and you see this thing form like this after a long spike on one minute or it will continue like this it will be spiking small 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 but the major place is here and i will advise you after here you take from here at least somewhere here you are you are out from the market because you don't know what may happen in the next few hours okay so the zoom level is not fixed you zoom to see the movement you zoom to know the condition of the market no single zoom level is accurate but the actual zoom you can use to know when this thing when the market is going to meet at the resistance level is zoom 3 okay zoom 3 will help you to know it look at zoom 3 all right so please subscribe to this channel and encourage us subscribe and encourage us subscribe and encourage us and you will call me and say thank you take time and watch this video just do it the way i am doing it watch it i explained it because it's just like i'm teaching i'm not teaching these things are some of the things to charge people too much money to teach but i'm dropping it okay watch it and you will not regret it thank you thank you subscribe to our channel i remain gdfs